the Incan Empire was the largest in all of the pre-Columbian history of South America. Originating in the highlands of Peru in the early 13th century, the Incan Empire lasted until 1572, when the Inca were conquered by the Spanish. During this relatively short time in historical terms, the Incas accomplished amazing feats of military strength, political dominance, administrative fluidity, and religious influence. Before the arrival of the Spanish and the conquest that came with it, no neighboring state in the region could contest their military and political might, as they themselves had been at the head of conquering other nation-states. But then, everything changed when the Spanish attacked. During the time when the Spanish conquest of the Inca was underway, one type of artifact of the Incan religion was specifically targeted, as the Spanish deemed their elimination to be essential to their goal of turning the Incans towards Christianity and taking over their empire. These artifacts were none other than a group of mummies, a series of members of past Incan royalty supposedly ranging all the way back to the first king of the Inca. These Incan royal mummies held immense religious significance for the Inca people, who did everything in their power to keep the Spanish from seizing them, and thus maintaining what little power they had left. The Spanish did manage to destroy several of these mummies, but the Inca did such a good job of hiding the others that the search for those mummies is still going on today. The Incan royal mummies held importance for several reasons, mainly because they aided in many of the prestigious matters of religion and politics, and helped keep the delicate balance of power between the Hanan and Huron moieties. In total, there were believed to be either 12 or 13 royal mummies. To put this into context, there were only a total of 18 Incan kings in the time the Incan Empire existed. To consult these members of past royalty, a process known as divination was employed. Divination was used to inform people in the city of Cusco about social events, to predict battle outcomes, and to ask for metaphysical intervention in matters that were out of their own control, such as preventing famine or disease. The act of mummifying and paying tribute to the dead was not an art that was unique to the Incas, as many Andean civilizations were familiar with it long before the Incas rose to power. However, the Incas treated their mummified dead as if they were still living people, a form of ancestor worship because they held a deep reverence for their older generations. In fact, the Inca believed that passing on from life actually elevated an individual with respect to society and ritual, because the Inca believed that these individuals were the links between the living and the gods. Garcilaso de la Vega, a Spanish poet who witnessed the Incan royal mummies firsthand, wrote in one of his journals, Their bodies were so perfect that they lacked neither hair, eyebrows, nor eyelashes. They were in clothes such as they had worn when alive. They were seated in the way Indian men and women usually sit, with their arms crossed over their chests, the right over the left, and their eyes cast down. I remember touching a finger of the hand of the Huayna Capac. It was hard and rigid, like that of a wooden statue. They carried them wrapped in white sheets through the streets and squares, the Indians falling to their knees and making reverences with groans and tears. While the royal mummies were not in use, they were held in the Cori Concha, also known as the Temple of the Sun. This temple was the religious center which belonged to the Huron moiety, at the center of the Incan Empire inside the city of Cusco. The mummies were stored and used in the religious center of the city to represent the balance of power between the Hanan and Huron moieties. The Hanan had a living king, while the Huron maintained their importance by having all of the past kings. Unfortunately, the mummies could never predict the demise of their own empire, when 168 Spanish soldiers arrived in 1532 under the command of Francisco Pizarro, they immediately targeted the religious aspects of the Incas to establish their power and essentially crush them through religious and physical domination. The Spanish were particularly adamant about the destruction of the royal mummies, and for that matter all of the mummies of the Incan religion, because they viewed them as a form of idolatry, which was a sin in the Christian religion. Idolatry was a particularly heinous sin in the eyes of the Spanish because it put something physical above that which was most important to them, that being the Lord God. Therefore, the Spanish believed that they had to cleanse the Incan people of their sin. According to historian John Hemming, During the last third of the 16th century and the start of the 17th, the church launched an aggressive campaign to eradicate any spiritual opposition. A synod in Quito in 1570 instructed curates to attack any ministers of the devil who obstruct the spread of our Christian religion. Any leaders of the native religion were rooted out and flogged, placed in stocks, or imprisoned. Priests went about the task with apostolic fervor. The Incas were not compliant, however, 
and hid the royal mummies and other important religious objects around Cusco to avoid their destruction, even if it meant that they could not be used for a public ceremony. The Spanish remained committed to their pursuit of religious conversion and the destruction of the native religion, and interrogated hundreds of Incans for the whereabouts of the mummies. This search went on for decades until the Incan Empire was completely taken over, and through their efforts, several of the royal mummies were found and confiscated. They were ultimately destroyed when the Spaniards failed to store them properly in the hot and humid climate of Lima, where they are now buried in an unknown area as a result of being ruined. However, many believe that several of the mummies still remain undiscovered, at least to prying eyes.